Hi, Georgina. How are you this week? Hi, I'm good. Thanks, Charlotte. How are you? I'm all right. Thanks. Did you see the video of one? Our first video is up there. We've got something like 12 views already. I did, and I've shared it in my group on Facebook as well. OK, and so did I. And in uh, Charlie's Angel Crowd, that's the page that I created to do the workshop from and other things and interact with uh, members when it's that time that I'm going to go live and talk about it. I uh, might do it this week, coming week if I'm not too busy because I've got romance readings to do and I'm doing next week's readings as well now and I'm using the transparent tarot with the everyday witches tarot so it's quite uh, challenging but it's really fun. Yeah it sounds it. And uh, we'll have to do that reading together uh, with the uh, everyday witch because you I know you've got the deck as well. Yeah. Are you going live this Saturday and Sunday? I will be on Sunday. I've got an event that I'm doing. Where? Um, that one's on Facebook. OK, so is it Life and Soul or something else? Um, this one is, yes, it's Life and Soul. And okay. then the following weekend I'm doing Life and Soul and Roots to Connection. Roots to Connection, OK. Well, um, I'm going to share that and I will highlight it that uh, you're going live. Thank you. I'm a bit too busy to go live. And my computer is on its last legs <laughs> because I, I can't go live on Facebook with the, the laptop. I can only use my phone for that. Yeah. Because Facebook is changing drastically. So is YouTube. YouTube is also adding new things in the back office and things. So we're busy learning about that too. What uh, I was looking through the books um, in the last couple of days, in the last week, um, and I saw that there was also the reads, uh, the Wiccan read, the Wiccan law um, in the workplace and spells, but it's far more detailed and longer than in the Healthy Witches uh, book that we um, talked about. And yeah, uh, uh, did you have you seen that? It's three pages long. I have. I've seen it briefly, um, but I've not read through it as yet. And well, I'm going to read a little uh, the first paragraph and then I will read a couple of uh, uh, rules or laws um, just to give people the idea of what is in the book. OK, the Wiccan read on page 155. In spellcasting, it's very important to follow these guidelines unless you want to set yourself up for a fall. The Wiccan read is something that was formulated to sum up the ethics of the Wiccan religion. It's called read, which is derived from an old English word, ruden, which means to guide or direct. The read is the golden rule, so speak, uh, and the most common form of the read is aim ye harm none. In other words, don't harm anybody. Do what you will. It's in a old English, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it is. And ye harm none. Do what you will. While most of us just keep those eight words in mind, it's a good idea to read the entire text to get a better understanding of the principles of Wicca. So you must also say it in rhyme. Bite within the law you must in fact, oh sorry, in perfect love and perfect trust. Live you must and let to live. Fairly take and fairly give. For tr tread the circle thrice, that's three times, about to keep unwelcome spirits out. To bind the spell will every time. Let the spell be said in rhyme. Light of eye and soft of touch. Speak, you little listen much. And I think that's really beautiful. In other words, listen 
Yeah. Oh, and that's one of my, I have to abide by. Honour the old ones in deed and name. Let love and light be our guides again. So if you want to know any more of these rules, viewers, then get the book. So that you can do your own little ritual. Okay, lovely. And I also saw um, the pages on the spirit guides. And I'll read a little bit from that. Many of us in pagan community acknowledge the presence of spirit guides, sometimes also referred to as guardian angels. We are all born with spirit guide who has an interest in our development and lives, lives lives from birth to death. They want us to do well and will offer their help if we ask for it. If we don't prob properly ask, they will still attempt to help anyway, offering suggestions by way of sending us thoughts or ideas, but without our permission, they can do no more. So that is um, why doing a manifestation or a spell or a ritual, whether you're pagan or Wiccan or whatever, doesn't matter. Just do it with a pure heart like we discussed last week. Okay, great stuff. And now let's go to the promised chapter, um, raising um, energy. That's what we finished last week with. Okay. So, uh, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. I've got to go right to the front. Raising energy. I'll read a little bit from the book and then we can discuss about it because the viewers don't have the book. Raising energy is the process of gathering energy into yourself and containing it so you may use it in spells, charms, etc. or in meditation. This is one of the most important elements of casting and can be done in a variety of ways. Singing, chanting, dancing, drumming and visualization are several methods commonly used. Here are some suggestion, suggestions for raising energy in preparation for your spell work. And especially if you do a spell before you go into traffic or uh, at work to protect yourself from negative energies from colleagues. And there's also a spell in the book about work as well. Um, and the computer. Stand at the altar and imagine a white light flowing into your body through the top of your head. Also feel it coming up through your feet. And then feel the energy coming together and forming a ball of light in your chest. Focus completely on building up every bit of energy you have. When you feel as though you have raised all your energy, relax and proceed with the spell. But this can, instead of doing the spell, you can also start going deeper in your meditation. Don't you agree? Yes, I do. You are going to do a meditation for us today, aren't you? Yeah, I can do a meditation for you. That's what we discussed last week as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sorry, my memory's not that great. <laughs> no, nine is, neither is mine. After the spell is completed, it is necessary to send out the energy that was raised. This energy is released into the world to create change you desire. To do this, stand at the altar and imagine the ball of light in your chest once more. Tense your muscles and begin to push the energy upwards. Then thrust your arms in the air and exhale, imagining sending the energy out into the air. Well, I can't raise my arms properly because of my neck, so I go like that, I blow it out. So, and last week, um, uh, Marla said you don't need to have a wand or an altar. So just learn to be creative and adapt it to the way I think anybody wants to do it. Yeah. 
Some people prefer to chant or use mantras to raise energy. The chant is usually repeated over and over again, quietly at first, then louder and faster as you go until the energy reaches the appropriate level to empower the workings. And then it goes on to drumming. Some people like to drum rhythm, uh, rhythmically. Rhythmically, that's a mouthful. That's a gobstopper. Um, rhythm, rhythmically, beat a drum for a few minutes. As with chanting, the drum starts slowly and then gets louder and faster. And sit quiet, sit in a quiet room and remove all jewelry and eyeglasses, then hold your hands out in front of you with the palms facing over each other like this. Bring your hands together and rub them vigorously for a few seconds, then slowly begin to separate your hands to about hands to about three inches apart. Keep them level and each other at this point. You should feel the tingling sensation. Now slowly bring them back together, but don't let them touch towards each other. Do this several times. As your hands go together and away from each other, you should feel a ball of energy between them. If you don't feel it at first, keep trying. Once you are able to successfully raise energy between your hands and are comfortable with it, you then can learn to focus your energy by turning your hands towards an object and then fill that object with energy before casting a spell and that is how you raise energy so you can what i would advise to people is feel whether you can feel energy before you do that ritual just feel the difference you can already feel it try it yeah because it's your aura that yeah. you're playing with your, there. your your energy yeah and it's like it feels like a magnet can you feel it shifting yeah. that is raising energy so let's do that by following your instructions on how to do a meditation yeah you want to do the meditation next? Yeah, I heard you on your on your YouTube channel. Nice piece. Oh, okay, you watch that. <laughs> yeah, I keep my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes are everywhere. Yeah. Can you okay, do the, um, the Can you do a short version of that? I can't remember which one it is that's on there. No, it doesn't matter. Just do a short um, a... introduction to how you start meditating and then meditate for five minutes uh, because otherwise the video will be really long and it's really difficult to load up. Yeah. So, And this is just all a discussion and discussing the books and things. So it's just giving people an idea uh, what meditation is all about and how to get into it. So if they want to follow you, they can go to your YouTube channel and Facebook and they can watch you there. That sounds good. OK, okay. well, to start with. It's, it's all free. I know much, it's all free. Yeah, make, make sure that you're in comfortable clothing, nothing too tight or anything like that. Um, that you're sitting, you can either sit comfortably upright or you can lay down on the bed if you wanted to. Um, whichever is easiest and just slowly relax yourself, bring your attention to your breath so you notice the, the cool sensation of it on your nostrils as it goes in and then as you breathe out you notice the different sensations and just spend a few moments focusing on your breath. Okay. That's the easiest and simplest way to, as an introduction to start yourself off. Okay. 
So do you want to do a quick five minute meditation? Yes, please. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're comfortable? I am comfortable. I normally sit with my, my hands upright yeah. so that I can feel the energy and just have them resting down low so that it's comfortable on your lap. And then slowly take a deep breath in. And as you let go, breathe out and let go of any tension that you're holding. If you want to, you can close your eyes and concentrate on your breathing. Take another slow, deep breath in and then slowly breathe out, letting go of any stress and worries. As you slowly take another deep breath in, breathing in the life force energy, feeling your stomach relax. And then again, slowly breathing out, letting go of any tension still in your body. And then if you take your attention to the base of your spine and the bottom of your feet, there are roots of energy slowly coming down through the floor, down through the foundations of the building through the layers of the earth, going straight down to the middle of the earth, where there is a green, luscious bed of grass there, and your roots firmly but gently attached to the centre of the earth. As you continue to breathe slowly, in and out. There is a beautiful green energy coming up from the centre of the earth, coming up your roots through the many layers, through, through the floor and the foundations of the building, up into your feet and the bottom of your spine. Slowly filling you up from your legs, hips, flowing over and through your torso, up through your chest, going over your shoulders, down your arms and hands, up through your, over your neck face and head until it comes up through your crown chakra, the top of your head, overflowing and cascading back down your body, allowing you to feel fully connected with Mother Earth and all of nature, deeply grounding and rooting you in this moment. When you're ready, you may begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Slowly bring your attention back to the room and listening to any sounds that you may be able to hear. And then when you're ready, you may open your eyes. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. It's magic. <laughs> That was only a very short. <laughs> I know it was going very quick, but um, because I'm yeah. used to meditation, it's nice doing your meditation. It's different to mine, but it was working over time. It's like a spiral of balls, like those uh, balls that you get at the McDonald's in the in uh, all these different color balls. It was like loads of balls were spiraling, all different colors, and with the colors were changing from red to green. When you said green, it became green. And then it went into aqua. It's like if I was drifting in water. And I saw people coming in. So I don't know whether that was part of the meant as the part of the meditation. Um, but uh, it, it seemed like, because this is what I get as well. I get see faces or people, but I definitely saw a man's face along 
face. So I don't know whether they were trying to come through to me. Weird. Possibly. Everyone's going to have a slightly different experience of it. I rushed through it because I'm aware that we've only got a short amount of time to do a short demonstration in. Yeah, um, it, uh, but also because it's short, it still works. Yeah, but it's just a, a little snippet and a guideline and everyone's going to have a slightly different experience of it. A lot of my meditations are guided, so I talk you through the different steps and I'd normally go after we've done that stage that I just did with you. Like I'd go at a slower pace normally. Yeah. And then I'd also work with each of the chakras to open them and cleanse nice. our energy completely. And nice. before Lovely. shutting them down. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, well, this is 20 minutes, so I'm going to leave it there. And because it's also very gentle energy, it's it might just have rejuvenated everybody for the coming days or the day or the week whenever anybody is watching. Thank you and I'll see you next week again. You're welcome. Namaste. See you soon. See you soon. Bye bye. bye.